Hey guys, Jerry Green here. I want to share with you a message today that I think every entrepreneur needs to look at. And really this applies to not only in your business life, but your personal life as well. And it's something that I see so many people struggle with. And it's really something you hear about all the time. You read in books, you hear it online, social media and everything else. And that is one simple subject and that is goal setting. And the interesting thing is most people really don't know how to do it, okay? Most people will turn around and they'll write out something they say is a goal and they'll say, hey, I want to make, say, more money, okay? They want to make more money. So they'll say, that's my goal. And guys, I'm going to tell you something, that is not a goal. There's no way that that's a goal because there's your mind, your mind will not go to work on something that is not actually a true goal. And this is something I learned years ago and, and I still applies today. It always does. It always will. Okay. And that is with a goal, you have to keep it basically very measurable and very specific. So I'm going to write this out of how really to write a true goal. And this sounds so silly, but it's very powerful. In fact, if you don't do this, uh, chances of you actually attaining your goal are extremely slim. Chances are you won't, won't ever obtain it, no matter what it is, business-wise, financial, personal, whatever it is. So you want to make sure you write it out similar to this. And that is I, so you're taking it, uh, basically ownership of it. So let's just say I earn, okay? So I earn, kind of present tense, Okay, so you take ownership of it, put in the present tense, I earn, let's say, $10,000, okay? So now you're setting up a measurement on this, so it's measurable, by, let's say, 731-2020, okay? This is how you write a goal, guys, okay? You take ownership of it, you create it in the present tense, okay? You turn around and you get very clear on the measurement, okay? And then very specific by what date that's going to happen by. Simple way of writing out a goal versus what most people think is a goal. And it's really no more than just a kind of a dream, a wish list, that's it. This is the way you write it out, guys. And the cool thing about it, once you have this, all you have to do is go underneath this and start creating an action plan and just write out your action plan. So if you're on this side of things, maybe you have to turn around and say, by doing this, let's say your wholesaling properties, maybe you turn around and you complete uh, one wholesale property by this date. So that's your action. So it's a one wholesale property by that date. How do you get to that? Well, you turn around, you think of the action steps that you have to do to take to that. Maybe you're in a position where you have to turn around and you have to make, let's say in the beginning stages, you have to make maybe 20 offers to, to get to this point and why have one stick, okay? You just think about that. And then what happens, guys, all your focus goes on your action steps. If your focus goes on your action steps, you'll turn around and achieve that. Most people get caught up in all the other crap and all the other noise. Guys, get clear on what you want. And like I said, remember, one ownership, present tense, the very, clear on the number, okay? So you make sure that measurement's there and then specific on the time frame. And that's all you gotta do to write out a goal. Okay, and make it happen. Guys, that's it. Next one is just take action. Talk to you later.